Hey everybody, how y'all doing? I'm very sorry for this recap to come up late. I'm gonna give you guys the recap of Chaos Dragon, Sekiro, Seneki, and other words you could call it, Chaos Dragon or Red Dragon War. Now this episode right here, which is on, which is on episode nine, it looks like some complications come about. So if anything else, let's go. Do not su be surprised if it's very short because I don't even feel like um putting a lot of effort to even want to review this to even I don't know. Maybe to even, like, um, talk about a lot, you know? So, if anything else, let's go. Okay, at the beginning, we have to it that Ibuki is surprised to see that his sister or sibling, Inori, is, like, um, connected with the Akuno Ryu, which is the red dragon. And apparently, it seems like to me, like, um, he has to find out a couple things here and there, and he's still connected with Mashiro. And I'm thinking in my mind... I can understand you are still you, you love her very much as a friend or something, but once someone is dead and they come back, it's not like they're gonna come back originally who they were before, and that is the darn truth. No joke about it. So as as the episode continues, we have to it that Ibuki ends up having a crazy dream after like um swallow or cloud I call him ends up having a meeting with the black dragon. And the Black Dragon can actually give out some good old benefits right here and there. Though the, the though there might be other negative consequences. As for Ibuki, he ends up having a terrible dream one time with that Black Dragon, which Swallow is connected. And Ibuki runs away from him and his, and his chaperone or just an accompanying person. And I'm thinking in my mind, okay, what the hell, you know, that kind of thing. So Ibuki decides to go with Inori for a bit. As, it's shown, as it is shown in this chapter, and I'm thinking in my mind, dear lord, what's going to happen next, you know, what the worst case scenario, you know, that kind of thing. But who know, who, who freaking knows? As the episode continues with its own thing, as it, with its own thing here and there, we have to it that Ibuki goes with the Nori to her beach, and then he decides to offer Mashiro a returned one, which the Akunaru decides to do so, to, to, kill Mashiro and incinerate all of her body and so forth so she doesn't come back again. Which is a good thing because having her soul to come back as a return one is too torturous, especially when it comes to certain points and it ends off there. And it seems like Ibuki might have made some enemies or he might have like um made the expedition of his like um a complicated one. There's only a couple episodes left and I'm hopefully it gets finished soon and it's over because you know what? I can't really handle much more. Anyways, I'm just going to leave it at that, people. That's just my recap. I'm not going to review it for some reason because it's just like, eh. So, until then, I'm off with Zero. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time, alright? Peace out. Bye-bye.